So it seems the FTX meltdown continues and uh, now you have some of the bigger name uh, influencer people uh, essentially issuing apologies. And because they all work with the same agency, it looks like they were given a script. Uh, I'll show you guys the evidence and uh, it's uh, Tom Nash, uh, Graham Stephan and um, uh, Minority Mindset, uh, Jasper H. Singh. So you can see it for yourself. Uh, it looks like they're reading from the script. I think that you all deserve me to talk about FTX and what's going on because I was... There's been a lot of craziness around crypto and FTX particularly. So I wanted to make this quick video. It's completely raw. It's unscripted. So, so I've been waiting to talk about this since the situation seems to be changing every few minutes. But as some of you may have seen, FTX US has been a sponsor here on the channel for the majority of the year. Number one, I was working strictly solely with FTX US. So I began working with FTX US earlier in 2022. And by the time I began working with FTX US, FTX.com, which is the international division, had already spun off and you have these two companies. Their international counterpart, however, FTX.com, has recently faced liquidity issues, disabled withdrawals, and because of one-to-one -one and they're operating normally. In fact, you're still able to buy, sell, and withdrawal as usual. Although still buy and sell crypto. You can still pull your crypto out. And so the platform is still working. FTX US was the only company I work with and they're 100% operational. You can buy, you can sell crypto, you can pull your money out, you can put your money in. And so my big concern is what happens when things go wrong. And I was reassured multiple times and I have writings of this that FTX US is well capitalized. And they gave me a lot of assurances to know that the money people will put on their platform will be 100% safe. As much as I trusted the information that I was given, I was wrong and I'm sorry. I trusted them, but in the end, their parent company was not forthcoming with all of the risks, uh, this being one of them. This you don't want to risk spillover or bleed over from the FTX.com company into the US subsidiary. I'd rather be overly cautious and remind people to move their money off of the exchange, especially during a time where everything is still functioning. I, I think going forward, I can assure you that I will make sure to be extra, extra careful so that nothing like this ever happens again. You bet that me and my team are gonna be even stricter than we are already. And second, we're gonna be working to make sure that all of you who trusted us and who trust us are okay and taken care of because I wanna make sure that this is right. I'm. Everybody who watches the channel means the world to me, and I would not be here without you. So thank you so much for hearing this out, and I really hope this is all for nothing. And uh, hopefully you guys can put your trust in me to do the best job I can on your behalf. And the other thing too, just to be clear, FTX.us, the one that all these guys were affiliated with, uh, they're in an investigation right now by the SEC and the DOJ. Uh, Gary Gensler is looking very, very carefully at these things, and this is sort of why... Uh, these people are putting out these apology videos because they're worried and they should be. I love uh, the game of money and climbing that, that wealth pyramid and things like that. I think it's fun. I have to decide if I want to do more, but know that if I'm doing more, it's just a cash grab because <laughs> I got 10 days to make these videos. But hey, I'm going to be transparent about it. Hey, it's a lot of money. It's like, you know, a couple thousand bucks a video and uh, for 30 seconds, read. Whatever. Now, before we get to part two, I have to give a quick shout out for today's sponsor. It's FTX US. You've probably heard of them before. They're very popular as a very large crypto exchange. They have millions of users on it trading crypto. That's not my thing. I don't know how to do analysis on these things. I think they're speculative and my, you know, very volatile. It's just not for me. One of the largest US regulated cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, trusted by millions of users to buy, sell, track, and trade both crypto and NFTs. They've been the ones that are going out, investing in, and buying other crypto exchanges that are struggling. So they've been growing very quickly. They bought a chunk of Robinhood. They bought a chunk of BlockFi. I have to decide if I want to do more, but know that if I'm doing more, it's just a cash grab. <laughs> Because I got 10 days to make these videos. But hey, I'm going to be transparent about it. Hey, it's a lot of money. It's like, you know, a couple thousand bucks a video. And uh, for 30 seconds, read, whatever. I love uh, the game of money and climbing that, that wealth pyramid and things like that. I think it's fun. And this is a red flag that everybody should be paying attention to. I'll explain in just a moment, right after I mention that if you want to take advantage of buying the crypto dip, check out our sponsor today, FTX. <laughs> to learn more, all about the FTX trading platform and their trading apps.
And the reason why I want to point this out to you guys is that I want you to understand that, you know, sometimes uh, people BS and especially these kind of people who are in it just for the money and be aware that not everyone is like that. So um, one of the things I want to show you guys, I'll, I'll share my screen here, you can see this. Um, if you go to my channel and you search for FTX, uh, you can actually find um, a lot of my old videos on FTX. I was warning people about this for months. This is like three months ago. Um, this is four months ago. And um, in fact, uh, I'll show you this as well. If you look at some of the um, older videos here, you can see that you know I was talking about worrying that um, uh, Sam Bigman Freed was essentially uh, trying to buy up influence, buy politicians, these kind of things. I was making videos about this. And, and the reason why I, I do this is because I want you to understand that, that when someone tries to pretend, oh, I was too stupid, I didn't know, I didn't know, no one could have known. Don't believe that kind of talk. People knew, I knew. I was making videos about it, right? Uh, I was calling out and making lists of uh, this is four months ago of, of you know, all of these uh, people who took money from FTX and essentially was pushing on, right? I mean, multiple videos about it. So um, don't fall for their apologies where they try to pretend like everyone is out there uh, for money. Don't fall for that stuff. It's simply not true. Not everyone does uh, things only for money. Also, too, don't fall for their sort of tricks of like, oh, I'm too stupid to know. I didn't know that the the, 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 these people were going to be crooks. <laughs> um, I, and this is actually a true story, guys. Uh, it was just um, yesterday I got an email from yet more crypto chains. And I'm not going to say which one because it's actually one of the big ones. Um, in, in fact, you can probably figure out who it is, but uh, the one that you know gave money to Matt Damon and stuff like that. Actually, Matt Damon, LeBron James. So those those people contacted me. Um, and you know I, I'm not going to take money from these kind of things because I don't trust it. Uh, and this is sort of why I, I noticed that FTX was was buying up all of this influence. This is a real thing. And, um, you know, to remind you guys, these people work at the same agency, right? Um, I believe it's like Erica Kohlberg and like their husband, or if it's probably husband, fiance, they're lawyers, actually. Um, in fact, it's kind of interesting. You know, there's Graham Stephan, there's a minority mindset. But um, uh, Jasper H. Singh, he went to law school, Wayne State. Um, so he he's well aware of the law, right? That's why they're using particular language of like, um, you know, oh, they gave me assurances, right? And then they try to like really emphasize, okay, this is the fact. I worked with uh, FTX.us. The international arm is separate. <laughs> they, they like, like the, the essentially, you know, how a lawyer says, hey, you've got to make sure you state these things. We got to try to make sure that our clients, you know, uh, remove as much liability as possible, etc. This is how these games are played. And if you guys are old enough to to see different court cases and stuff, how people try to get off, that's what they do. And um, just to be aware, for those of you who don't know this, this is crazy agency. All these, you know, big YouTubers, Graham Stephan, Andre Zeke, Meet Kevin, right? Marnie Mindset, Nate O'Brien, Spencer Cornelia, um, Brian Jung, Ricky, Ricky Gutierrez, Jake Tron, Ryan Seahunt, um, Nate O'Brien already said that, but um, they're all at the same place. And um, uh, financial education, Jeremy's with these people. Tom Nash is with these people. Uh, I don't know about Joseph Carlson, but I, I'm, I'm sure he is. They just don't put him on the website because he's not big enough. But I, I'm, I'm sure he's with these people. I, I wouldn't, I'd, get, I'd be, I'd say I'm 98% sure he would be. And um, there's probably other people as well. You can please, you know, share, uh, write, in, write in the comments who else is, is working with these people. But I just want you to understand that um, this is a coordinated effort to try to cover their butt. That's essentially what it is. And so, uh, you know, when these apologies look roughly the same, that's why. They're all at the same agency. And um, actually, Tom Nash studied law as well. So Tom Nash actually lied about his credentials. Uh, he tried to give the impression that he has an MBA from uh, Michigan. It's untrue. Uh, he was at Michigan just for a few months. Uh, he has an LLM, which is like a uh, certificate kind of thing. It is a master's, it's true. LLM, but it's but it's basically if you already have law, legal training in another country, which Tom does. I think um, it's Israel, I believe, but who knows? You know, I don't know what Tom's, uh, I don't even know what his real name is. I think it's Tomer, but who knows if that's even real. Uh, but the, the point is, though, is that uh, Tom and Jasper both have some legal background. So this idea that, oh, I didn't know, right? People who have legal training, they know. They know. They're just trying to pretend dumb. And, and it's the same with the Graham Stephan. He has lawyers. They're just trying to pretend they're, that they're dumb. And um, one of the things that is important to understand is that some people, right, when, when they're offered whatever money, is that they'll take it. Um, there was actually a clip of Graham Stephan talking with um, this one dude, um, Spencer, I, I have, I just want to go digging around looking for it, but I, I, they were talking about essentially how much money, um, you know, would it take to buy them? And Graham's response was, he did on the ice coffee hour, his Graham's response was, well, if someone gives me enough money, I'm going to take the money and I just hope my fans forgive me. And I hope my fans understand that it was a lot of money and it was worth it. <laughs> and so the, the, the worst thing about these kind of people is they're only sorry when they get caught. And, you know, this is the thing that I, I would say. If these people really, truly cared about their fans and really, truly cared about 
you know, you, what they would do, they would say, you know what guys, FTX money is dirty, crypto money is dirty, and in fact, I'm gonna donate all that money to a charity, or they could come out and say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna give back uh, my fans uh, all the money that they've lost and things that I've, you know, recommend that, those kind of things, but they're not gonna do that, you guys know that, I know that. Um, and, so, and, and this is sort of why the, the, the apologies are all BS, because they took the money. And this is the thing that is when you take someone's money, you are liable. Like you're, you're basically become their, uh, their lapdog, right? You, you're now owned by someone else. You've been bought by someone else when you take someone's money. So this is why I used to say so many times, you guys used to teach us for, for years to just be very, very careful out there in the world and always understand that anything you do will have long-term implications. And if you want to play the long game, build a relationship with good people. Don't be out for the, the quick buck, right? The shortcuts, the, the scammy people. And um, the thing that too, that other people kind of bothers me about these things is like, you know, for people who follow any of these scammers or whatever, and, and they would try to pretend like, oh, I didn't know, is like, well, okay, there's there are two things going on. One, you're either following a fool, right? All these people are fools for taking money from FTX. Or two, you're following a liar, right? And it could be both. They could be fools and liars. Um, but at the end of the day, the, these people are all scammers and I don't like these people and I'm calmer now. I was, you know, yelling a little bit before, um, but, uh, you know, I, I just want to stay calm and cool and, and um, show you guys this is the dangers. Um, the last thing I want to show you, too, is um, this this guy is named Ross and actually he's in prison now uh, for basically crypto scams. And um, this is sort of what can happen to these people. You can go to prison and you can make a lot of new friends in prison. and. Believe me, you guys, you don't want to be the uh, <laughs> the new kid on the block in prison. It's not the place you want to be. This is a real thing. And this is why these people, um, when they make their apologies, they look scared because they should be 100%. So you're, you were pushing this garbage and it turned out to be a big Ponzi scheme and you are a part of it. So uh, you can't run away from this stuff. And they're going to try to play dumb and they're going to try to go with what their agency advises them and look what their lawyers advise them. But I just want to call this out and make sure it's very, very clear why they state very particular things in their apologies and why all their apologies look roughly the same. So thanks again for watching everyone and I catch you in the next video.